Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the uh, Ranked Regulation series. We're back with the team we saw previously, Knights, uh, made by Violet in the Bruno Discord. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this team and I thought I'd give it another try because it's just really fun. Like I said, Iron Thorns doesn't get a lot of love and it has a cool design. Not the best stats in the world, but better than some. So I wanted to play it again, but uh, for some of you who don't know, I'm going to run down or do a quick rundown again of the team just so we kind of understand what's going on. So we have Armor Rouge with Flash Fire, Life Orb, just so I hit a little bit harder, rocking the Terra type, Grass, just so if it gets hit with like a Fire type move, because uh, it's a Grass type, it's going to still have Flash Fire because you keep the ability, uh, you keep your ability, but you just change your typing. So it just makes my Fire type move stronger. So I have Armor Cannon, Expanding Force, Trick Room, and Protect. Next up is Iron Crown with Quark Drive, Booster Energy. So as soon as it walk, uh, as soon as it comes in, uh, the Booster Energy will activate, giving it uh, a stat boost in its, I think it's its highest stat, which I think is Special Attack. We have Tachyon Cutter, Expanding Force, Terra Blast, and Protect, rocking the Steel type, or rocking the Water type Terra, just so Terra, uh, Terra Blast turns into a Water type move when it's Terra Astalized. Next up is Ursa Luna with Mind's Eye, Throat Spray, just so as soon as we hit a move. Uh, throat Spray will activate, giving you a plus one in Special Attack. Blood Moon, Hyper Voice, Earth Power, Protect. In DD, as always, Psychic Surge with Psychic Seed, because that's just something you see all the time. It's kind of like, uh, what is it, Flutter Main, it's Choice Specs. It's just it's just what it's going to have regardless. It's rocking the Dark-type Terra, just so it doesn't take as much damage from Dark-type moves, but Bug-types are still there, even though I don't, there's not very many Bug-types in, like, like, in the meta of the game that I'm aware of. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. That's all this set is just probably arguably the best set in Pokemon. It's you can hit two Pokemon, you can have all the attention on you, and you take hits like no one's business, helping hand to boost somebody, and Trick Room. Next up is Hydrapple with Regenerator Assault Vest, just so Regenerator gives me 30%. I think it's 30% of the health that you lost, or that's like left to get. So say if you have 10 HP. So like say if you have 90, which means you have 10. Or let's say you have 90 health out of 100. You have 10 HP in between 90 and 10. If I'm not mistaken, it gives you 30% of what life you have lost, like, overall. So, like, if you have 10 uh, HP points, it'll give you 3 when you come back in. Assault Vest just boosts your defenses. Rocking Fickle Beam, which has a chance to do a lot of damage depending on how many Dragon Heads come out. Giga Drain just to get some health back. Earth Power and Pollen Puff. Rocking the Poison type, Terra. Next up is the MVP of this team, Iron Thorns, with Quark Drive, Wide Lens, rocking that Thunder, Thunder, I keep saying Thunder, Electric type Terra with Sword Dance, Super Cell, Slam, Rock Slide, and Ice Fang. Essentially, it's just a sweeper. It's so, so good. I don't th I think I've, I don't even think I've hit Swords Dance once in this entire entirety of it being in like the first video. I don't think. I might be wrong. But with all that being said, and with this quick rundown, uh, all said and done. Let's get into that first battle. Looks like we're back with our first battle, which is Manny, rocking a Hisuian Arcanine, Galarian Articuno, Goldingo, Iron Hands, Roaring Moon, and Urshifu, probably the water type or uh, rapid strike. So as always, I'm gonna start with you. Hmm, 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 hoo, hoo, hoo. Hmm, that, that Arcanine hits hard too though. Roaring Moon's gonna hit hard. What is Galarian Articuno? Is dark flying or is it ghost flying? Can't remember what its typing is. I want to say it's ghost. Ghost something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think this is always a best bet to start off with just because Ursa Luna can protect right away and then I can do the trick room almost immediately. So, like, I want to say that's like my best thing to start off with. And then have you come in. What are you doing to anybody here is my question. In all honesty, either you or you. So fire is not gonna do you're not you're not gonna do well here, but you do have expanding force. Expanding force isn't gonna work if that's so that's a dark type doesn't work there. Ghost type's not gonna be very effective. In all honesty, it might just be you. So dragon type hits everything here. There's no fairy types. Grass type hurts one of you. You know what? Let's go for it. I don't really think Armourou should do a lot there. Oh, actually, no. Isn't Articuno Ghost Ice or something? Because... Yeah, because they all kept their secondary typings, didn't they? Or their, their primary typings. Because the originals are like Fire Flying, 
uh, so like Articuno's ice flying, Zapdos is uh, electric flying, Moltres is fire flying. So they all change their secondary typings, right? Double shinies. My favorite shiny in this game, besides Charizard, Roaring Moon. Mwah, beautiful shiny. Love it. Arcanine's pretty solid too. In all honesty, it could probably follow me. I could probably honestly just follow me. Hmm. Yeah, let's. Hmm. Because if I go for if they knock me out. Trick room into protect. I just love the difference in size between Indeed and Ursaluna, like Blood Moon Ursaluna. It's such a gigantic Pokemon. It is so massive. I want to say they're going into the NDD here. Stream speed doesn't work on this plane, baby. When the terrain's up, it doesn't work. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I already used up my item. I was like, that didn't work? That's crazy. So what I'm going to do is helping hand you terrestrialize Hyper Voice. Even though it's not very effective, I'm still going to do it. Just to get that plus one, and then I can freely Earth Power into Arcanine. Oh, he's scared. What are you throwing into? Urshifu. This is going to hurt my guy. Because it's not only Stab, but it's boosted by Terrestrialization. So it's Terrestrialization Stab. Plus one from the, uh, I think it's plus one. I think they do plus one from the helping hand. It gives you plus one for the turn. And then a boost the second time I do it. That much this does. That is a lot. I want to say he's going after Indeedee because there's no reason why you keep that Indeedee up, you know? Nope. Hitting both of us. Not my attack stats. Whatever shall I do? I could probably helping hand again, personally. Now I'm minus two on my attack stats. That's kind of a gross setup. If I'm being honest, that is disgusting. Uh, helping hand again, and just there's nothing stopping me from hyper voicing. Because now it's plus one from the Throat Spray, and it should be a plus two. You really just want to keep using Arcanine to Intimidate, huh? Articuno. That is such a beautiful shiny. Good for you. I wonder if you don't know that this hits both. Yeah, I think you were unaware that that hits both because of Mind's Eye. That shiny, like, the Galarian shinies are so good. They're so good. Person's probably like, you're cheating. I'm like, no, trust me. I was confused too, and then I just forgot that Mind's Eye was its, like, its thing. It's the normal type Scrappy. Now I'm negative three. And Trigger Room is still up, by the way. It's going to Earth Power you, because I'm at, like, what? Plus... Plus two still. Oh, are you Terra type flying? No, you are fairy. Got rid of your quad weakness. Still though, this is like a plus two earth power, so this should Why do you keep forgetting, dude? The psychic terrain doesn't allow you to do that. You silly goober. One.
Sorry, just getting into the song. But GG's to my opponent that uh, I kind of like the idea of what they're going there for, or what they're going with. The uh, Intimidate, Arcanine, Roaring Moon, like breaking swipes to lower the attack constantly. It was rather weird. Uh, but I think they were unaware of um, Mind's Eye. Because Mind's Eye, it's like Scrappy, which the ability Scrappy lets fighting type moves hit ghost types, whereas Mind's Eye lets Ursaluna's normal type moves hit ghost types. So, pretty fun. It just, I feel like they were just unaware of what the situation was with Ursaluna. But overall, love this team. Very fun. 4 0 which means I'm probably going to get 0-4'd. I 4 0 someone, which means someone's going to 4 0 me back. But with that being said, catch you in the second game. All right, we are back with battle number two against Ethan. This is a very interesting team. I'm going to say it's a Windrider team. What I mean by that is, uh, as you see, the Shift Tree, because he has Iron Bundle, Shift Tree, Metagross, Hisuian, uh, Typhlosion. Why does he have a Drifloon there? Don't know. There's something going on there. Uh, and then you have the Urshifu, which is probably the Water-type Ur Urshifu again. But, uh, so, the Wind Rider ability, anything that's like a wave type move, so like if you have, I think Icy Wind works, so like Icy Wind will trigger his attack to go up by one, uh, what else is there, Heat Wave, I don't know if Crash Wave, but it's anything that really essentially has like the word wind or wave in it, so it's like, I feel like that's what he's gonna do, so I feel like my best bet is to start off with probably you just to get the because you have tachyon bits which does a damage uh, does some damage and stuff um i could honestly start with you because i don't really see anything that really mm, the hydro blast that would be detrimental so i could go into you then i could grass type depending on what he wants to do and bring you and you Because I'm thinking the ice, I'm thinking it's gonna be bundle. It's gonna be the bundle shift tree lead, personally. And if that's the case, I can just follow me right off the rip. I can really just follow me. Yep. Oh no. This is a rather weird team. What is this balloon here for? Is it Destiny Bond? I think that's what it's here for. Because I know it's Eviolite. What's this thing's game plan? That's the question. Is it a Parish song? Is that the thing? What are you going into? Okay, normal. What are you gonna do? Fake out? Okay, so tailwind. Plus one because of Wind Rider. Okay. Explosion. That is an interesting set. That KOs. That is wild. That was actually crazy. I didn't expect that. I'm still can like I still want to know if there's actually a reason why the like the game forces you to put Pokemon on certain sides. Well, I'm happy I didn't terrestrialize. There's no way he doesn't go for me, right? Like he doesn't go for that Ursa Luna. Just to see if I can go for that flinch. 
Does it have helping hand too? If it has helping hand, that's actually really, really bad. Oh, it has Will-O-Wisp. That's annoying. You truly are an annoying little Pokemon, you know that? It was a critical hit, too. I'm assuming you're destiny bonding. Like, I feel like that's what that is. Yeah. What an annoying little set you have. It still does half, by the way. That was actually kind of annoying. I should have gone for the hyper voice there, because I didn't expect him to detect right away. That thing... Oh, it tailwind. I was like, that thing is really fast, by the way. But then I forgot a tailwind. Yep, helping hand. This is such an annoying little guy. Good for him, though. Like, it's... Whenever you see something like that... Like, whenever you see, like, a little tiny Pokemon... Like, just any small, like, not fully evolved Pokemon. It's going to have this, the dumbest sets. But good on it, though. Like I said. Oh, no, I didn't get 4-0'd. I got 3-0'd. That's an annoying little set, though. Good on him, though, for coming up with, like, this is, like, the creativity you don't see a lot of. Uh, And I, don't, I can't remember the last time I saw a team that's like that. But... That was actually a fun team to go against. And like I said, I predicted it out of technicality. He 4-0'd us because I didn't knock out his Pokemon. He knocked himself out. But yeah, that uh, it's kind of wild, I think. Pretty insane. I like the game plan. I like where it went. Uh, Probably should have brought... I probably should have... Yeah, I probably should have led something else. Because I don't know what could have eaten the explosion that well. Plus one explosion. Plus the boost from the terrestrialization. I don't think anything would, but I think Ursa Luna would have been the better thing because I could have protected. I could have just been protected then had another Trick Room user in the background. But like I said, I 4-0'd someone. Someone technically 4-0'd me. We're getting to that third battle. Well, we're back with the last battle of this video against Ivan. Rocking Amoongus, Fluttermane, is it Tingyu? Incineroar, uh, Komo'o, and then a Porygon 2. This is weird. So I think... Hmm, same thing as usual. I think I should be able to... So there's nothing... Besides that Ting Yu, that Ting Yu is going to be difficult because it has such high defense. I think I'm going to bring it this next because you're not doing anything really good against any of these mons. Uh, Fire Psychic. It's not bad, actually. Running you as the back. I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Because the last team was really good. That plus one explosion, I dropped my controller. But that plus one explosion was wild. Alright. Uh, let's see how this goes here. My, is, it, is it still on? Yeah, my controller's still on. Alright, Shining Incineroar. I don't know why. I think I call it Cinnamon because of a YouTuber. So he can't fake out, but he can parting shot. Special attack of all surrounding Pokemon. So that's what he does. Trick room. And just hyper voice. Because another set I saw with Ting Yu was, um, I think it's El Creamy. It has the move Decorate, which boosts, I think it's your uh, defense and special defense. 
it, and it, it boosts a, a target Pokemon, so you can Ting use defenses go skyrocketing. So Ghost type. Okay. Doesn't work on this field, buddy. Psychic terrain. Got that plus one. Are you ruination? Yeah, so half my health. It's basically Super Fang, but a dark type move. Is it Super Fang or is it Hyper Fang? I always get the two commit like mixed up because Super to me sounds like more destructive to me. It sounds more destructive than like Super Fang. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have Superman, it's like yeah, Superman is strong. Not the comic book character Superman. Like if someone was just a Superman versus a Hyperman. Well, I guess Hyper is different depending on where you come from. But to me, like Hyper just sounds like it would hit harder. No protects. So he is the slowest thing on the field. So half my health. Ooh. Almost takes him out. Flare Blitz. Do you just KO yourself? Yeah. <laughs> And now I could just freely follow me or helping hand again. Is Ting use the slowest thing on the field? Amoongus. I think what I can do here is switch into you and start expanding forcing. And then just blood moon the Amoongus. I still don't like the shiny, but you know, it's whatever. Oh. Amoongus is slow. Because I can, if I'm not mistaken, you are a dark type. You are big. I, I keep thinking it's like smaller for some reason. Uh, expanding force on you and Giga Drain you. So it's like, I'm pretty sure you're ground dark. On grass dark. Yeah, you're ground dark because the other one, the. I forget its name, but it's like the dead messages of a king or something like that. Wow, I survived one. It's kind of wild, actually. Hmm. I know I'm not going to, but on the off chance, I can't. Because I'm a grass type, I forgot. Ah. King Yu is always a problem. That thing has such, like, high amount of uh, defense. Wow, not a single thing came out for me. What the heck? What the hey? Okay, so come back in DD. Just to set up the second terrain again. Because Ruination Flare Blitz was wild. Uh, Dazzling Gleam. I want to pollen puff this thing. That should be enough on the Team U, I believe. Yeah. Is Yamuga's going to spore again? <laughs> I'm fine with that. What's the next thing coming out? What? I've heard this name before. What are you? Okay, I was like, is that the Spanish name for that thing? 
It has a really good, like, uh, overall, uh, the thing I'm looking for. It's very good because it's, it's both anti-trick room and speed at the same time. Wow, I survived one. Beat me up over here. Yeah, that's GG's for me on this one. Yeah, because it's like... Ah, should I have brought... I probably could have brought Iron Crown. I don't, I don't know if anything would have changed there because it's... This Team U is so strong, dude. Plus, that team's really good. Like I said, it's very anti because Incineroar is faster. It's the fastest of the four on the field. Two... Uh, if it's Trick Room, your two slow mons are going to be faster than the fastest things on the field or move first before anything else. And then you have two fast mons. That's actually a really, that team is actually really well put together because no matter the meta you send out, it can do something about it. That's actually pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Spore is such a pain. It is such a pain. Because like once one of your mons are asleep, it's like it, he can mind play with you all the time because you don't know if you switch out and he's targeting that same spot again with Spore. But, like, the best move is to just keep it in. But then again, it's just going to get knocked out. So it's like, well, that sucks. Hmm. Overall, though, had a fun time. Like I said, very fun game. Went one and three. One and two. Can't count. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I might try to team a third time just because I really like it. Or I might just bring another team back. I don't know. This team overall is very fun. I very much uh, like it. Everything it does. It's very cool. It's very awesome. But with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. But before I do that... I actually forgot to say my outro. This is the part of the video where if you're using me as background noise or something to fill the void, you can now pick on a different uh, video that will pop up on the screen or just click a different video overall. You don't have to listen to me. But uh, yeah, I did that backwards, but that's okay.